Same shame. Now Arnold Diaz on the case of a shady tow truck company that's been taking some of its customers for a ride. And how they were doing it has a lot of people talking tonight. Take a look. Shame, shame, shame. They're scanning people left and right. She got me good. She thinks she's above the law. They're talking about Auto Tech Collision, a towing and auto body shop in Rockville Center, Long Island. Rated F the Better Business Bureau's lowest rating, and owned by Lorraine Pillitz. Hi, Ms. Pillitz. I'm Arnold Diaz from Fox 5. A lot of people say you're holding their automobiles hostage and overcharging them. What do you have to say for yourself? Ms. Pillitz? Get off the property. Private property. Their vehicles ended up at Auto Tech Collision literally by accident. I was hit by a small school bus. We had an accident a week ago Wednesday. I was in a car accident. Kara Walsh's accident and her year-old BMW happened on a cold winter night. The police called Auto Tech from a rotating list of towers they use. Along with the tow truck, Lorraine Pillitz arrived and at first seemed very nice. She was like, are you okay? Was everybody okay? Was anybody hurt? You must be so cold. You must be dying to get home. Now she believes Pillitz was buttering her up so she'd sign this Auto Tech consent form. It's a a full page of mostly small print. He was quite um, a form of many different lines on it, you know, and I asked her, I just said, what is this? What am I signing? And she said, it's just a basic tow truck all the companies use, and it just states that you're allowing me to take possession of the car. And I said, okay, I said, but I do not want you to do any work in the car. You are not to touch this car. But I will speak with my insurance company in the morning, and then we'll go from there. And she said, absolutely, that's not what we do. We're not that kind of company. Kira says she didn't realize the document she signed, which is not a standard towing form, gives Autotech authorization to dismantle the vehicle and repair any and all damages. When Kira called Autotech the next day... They claimed that they'd done about $9,000 worth of work to the car, even though they would never let our insurance company in to see the car to assess any work that had been done and I said Lorraine listen to me release my car I am not dealing with this any longer at which point she absolutely bracing on the phone called me all sorts of names Rockville Center's towing regulations say solicitation of repair work at the scene of the accident is prohibited are you cheating people you get them to sign releases at the scene of accidents Miss Pellets what do you have to say got anything I never thought that I was going to be signing my life away, te technically. <laughs> and it's like unbelievable. Keith Linsalata, the owner of Art Flower Shop, says Pillitz misled him into signing what turned out to be a repair authorization at the accident scene. I just thought I was signing for her to take it away from the scene. Uh, I was just more concerned about my driver at that time going to the hospital than I was about anything else. The day after the accident, after reading what he'd signed, he faxed Autotech, canceling his authorization to do anything other than the tow. I keep from the flower shop. I know that. I need to get inside my van. Not today. I have to today. He says Pillitz has been refusing to allow him or his insurance company to take the van away or even just see it until he first pays cash for the tow and for the storage fees of up to $95 a day. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to call the Rockville Center PD and I'm going to get them down here. Okay? Go ahead. You have no problem with it. It's a civil matter. Go ahead. I'll show you the court. Pay your bill. Lorraine, let me tell you something. You told me. Just get out of the way. Lorraine, you told me. You're a liar. You're a liar. You're a liar. You told me. You're a liar. Two weeks after this heated exchange took place, Pillitz finally agreed to take a check from Keith's insurance company to release the van. He thinks the delay is deliberate. If she's not going to repair him, she's going to sit on him for a very long time to make that storage fee as high as she possibly can. Stephanie Bronstein says Pillitz refused to release her car after doing the repairs until she paid $1,400 more than the amount the insurance company had agreed to. We ended up calling the police. They came, they took a statement, but told us that there was nothing they could really do. As for Kira and Ed Walsh's BMW, it's still sitting partially dismantled in Autotech's storage yard. They've been fighting to get their car back since January 2009. It's a year. Enough is enough. You know? The Walshes sued Autotech, and last September, the judge found the form they signed at the accident scene was not binding. He ruled the Walshes owed Autotech just $300 for storage. When the court clerk asked, so upon payment of $300, the car is to be returned, the judge answered, yes. 
we went and paid the three hundred dollars, and she still has our car, and we still she refuses to give the car back. I mean, absolutely, just you're not getting your car back. End of tune. You're not getting. They want ten grand, or let us fix the car, and you'll get your car back. So their once valuable car sits outside the engine compartment, totally exposed to the elements, as the Walshes seek a contempt order against Phillips. Do you don't want to say anything? Get out. Well, do you have an attorney I can speak to? What's his name? Could you give me his name and number? Get off the property. So into our Fox 5 Hall of Shame, we induct Auto Tech Collision of Rockville Center and owner Lorraine Phillips for taking unfair advantage of accident victims. Shame, shame, shame. The Nassau County District Attorney says Auto Tech Collision and Lorraine Pillets are currently under investigation. The State Department of Motor Vehicles says it's conducted seven administrative hearings involving Auto Tech, resulting in almost $7,000 in fines and $2,000 in restitution. Pillets, in a phone call, told me in her 30 years in business, she has never overcharged anyone or done anything wrong. When I tried to question her about that, she hung up. If you've got a story for us to investigate, go to our website, myfoxny.com. Click on the shame link at the top of the page. Or call us at 1-877-TELL-FOX-5. I'm Arnold Diaz, Fox 5 News. All right, and you should know that there are other businesses called Auto Tech Collection.